The COVID-19 pandemic was destructive around the world since it struck. People were affected, and since the lockdown order, a lot were laid off and fired. Small businesses went under. One would think all businesses somewhat suffered in the past few months, but we were surpassed that these companies actually gained more. Today we list 10 companies that profited from COVID-19. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel on the bottom right and hit the bell button for updates. Number 10. Clorox Disinfecting things is a staple in everyone's lives since the pandemic struck. People regularly disinfect their homes, any new bought items, and even grocery packages when they first come in. You can never be too paranoid when it comes to keeping yourself and your family healthy and safe. And Clorox has profited immensely from that. You probably have a few Clorox items in your house right now. There are Clorox clean and disinfecting wipes, bleach, of course, sanitizer spray, and numerous other products that we benefit from today. Their products aren't limited to cleaning supplies. They provide laundry and home care products like glad bags and wraps and Hidden Valley dressings and sauces. They also have natural personal care products, vitamins, minerals, and supplements. If they're that useful, then how much did Clorox make since the start of COVID-19? Keep in mind that they've just released the quarter four and fiscal year reports. Clorox announced that their total net sales rose to the total number of $1.98 billion. Number 9. Amazon Amazon is an absolute beast when it comes to profits. It was already generating billions of dollars before the shutdown. But during it? Let's see. Not only did people suddenly find themselves in need of product delivery, preferring that to risk venturing out, so we're talking essential things, but restrictions had people stuck at home, and that equaled bored online shopping. Clothes you wouldn't otherwise buy, stuff you do need, and everything else in between, and Amazon found themselves doubling their profits. Yes, that's right, double. Their net profit year to year grew to $5.2 billion, and that is with Jeff Bezos, founder and CEO, saying that they'll need to spend $4 billion for COVID measures. The profits were coming in so fast, they had to hire 175,000 new employees. Number 8. PayPal With social distancing methods and warnings in effect, money transactions have been severely limited. As the unfortunate saying goes, money is one of the dirtiest things in the world. People have taken to online money transactions, and PayPal is your guy when it comes to that. Whether it's online shopping or other transactions, like online businesses who choose it as their method to pay, PayPal profits. Its app, Venmo, even boasts a total of over 60 million accounts. That's about $37 billion in payment volume, while the value of transactions through PayPal itself is $222 billion. We already know PayPal was making mad money, with last year's same quarter net income worth $1.53 billion. This year, they reported their revenue in the second quarter to be $5.26 billion. That's 22% revenue growth. Their CEO, Dan Shulman, even came out to say that their products were more relevant and important than they've ever been before. And the profits won't stop there. Shulman said that they've partnered up with US's CVS Health Corp to have PayPal and Venmo payment options at the counters. Number seven, Netflix. With millions and millions staying at home, people found a whole lot of extra spare time on their hands. The early stages of the lockdown involved activities, like exercising and cooking. But as the months went past, Netflix was always there for you. To name a few of the binge-watching shows that kept people entertained and sane while stuck at home, we have series like Stranger Things, Umbrella Academy, Elite, Tiger King, La Casa de Papel, and The Boys, and countless more. That's not going into the movies available on Netflix, or the non-Netflix produced shows and movies that are still being shown. Netflix's paid streaming service accommodated over 15.77 million new, again, paid subscribers in the year's first quarter. It's expected that, by the second quarter, Netflix will report over 6.08 billion in revenue. Number 6. Tencent Tencent is a Chinese company that's responsible for WeChat, which is a multi-purpose messaging, social media, and payment app, and has over a billion users. But the real heavy revenue came in this game-centered era, Tencent, aside from mobile games like Honor of Kings and Peacekeeper Elite, has a part in Fortnite and Player Unknown Battleground, aka PUBG. And it's also heavily invested in popular money bringers like Discord and Ubisoft. 
They also have their hands in Western movies and music, like a 10% share in Universal Music. Revenue for the second quarter of this year was $16.2 billion. That means their profits grew year to year by 29%. Recently, US President Donald Trump issued a ban on WeChat, which might affect their future profits. But it looks like Tencent is doing fine on its own. Number 5. Facebook Not unlike Netflix and such, Facebook was a beacon of much-needed entertainment for those desperate for social interactions. Facebook's line about bringing the world closer has never rang truer, and the Facebook company doesn't just apply to the Facebook platforms only. We're talking Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. All are social media platforms that nearly every demographic spends hours daily on. While tragically too many small businesses have gone under, those that can have moved online and minimized their employees and struggle to bring in customers. In comes the golden ticket of Facebook's advertisement feature. They pay for Facebook to advertise their services, and people stuck at home see the ad and purchase their products. It's a win-win. Facebook also released a new video chat and live stream feature on Messenger, which allows people to make broadcast calls in Messenger rooms with up to 50 people. This new feature makes it a competitor with softwares like Zoom. Throughout an advertiser boycott and possible antitrust violations, Facebook still managed to come out soaring with revenue worth $18.7 billion. Number 4. Alphabet Alphabet is often dubbed the mother company that owns Google. It's no wonder that they gained billions during a pandemic and lockdown that had people staying at home. What did most of these people do? Well, going on YouTube is one activity. A new music video is out? Click. Hello. People are watching YouTube videos more than ever, and the content creators that are YouTubers are uploading more and more. Google Cloud, besides YouTube, also includes Gmail and Google Search, all of course used extensively in these trying months, bringing in $3.01 billion. Advertisements also saw a rise in profits from Google Ads revenue, with $3.81 billion gained in revenue. They also have some hardware, like Pixel phones, which brought in $5.12 billion alone. The total revenue is measured up to something like $38.30 .30 billion, and that's with the company's growth dropping slightly. Number 3. Apple Entertainment proved to be high in demand since the lockdown started in March. Despite their physical stores being forced to shut down, and Apple warning it wouldn't meet its usual quarterly profits, they still came out on top. And despite all holdbacks, Apple continued to launch new products, like the MacBook Air, iPad Pro, and the new $399 iPhone SE. But their profits don't just rely on iPhones and iPads. They have Apple TV+, Apple Music, Apple Arcade, and even Apple Watches and AirPods. Surpassing last year's $11.5 billion, these products and services earned $13.3 billion in revenue. So, how much did Apple gain in total? In the recent second quarter, Apple reported revenues worth $58.3 billion. Number 2. Microsoft Microsoft is one of those companies that profited during these unfortunate times. Most of the incoming billions were results from the gaming side of its business. Xbox consoles, video games, and paid subscriptions alone raised their sales 65%, and that includes profit from the popular video game Minecraft. Working from home has especially aided them. $13.37 billion was earned from Windows servers, SQL Server, GitHub, and Enterprise Services, and Azure Public Cloud. The commercial cloud business earned over $50 billion in the fiscal year. Programs like Office, LinkedIn, and Dynamics brought in $11.75 billion in revenue. Round it all up and we're talking $38.03 billion in the last quarter. In the fiscal year that ended on July 30th, they reported their profits and revenue to be $143.09 billion in total. Number 1. Zoom I swear, half of the world hadn't heard of Zoom before the coronavirus pandemic. But as it stands, Zoom has shouldered a lot of the work in the past few months. Since all the schools and universities shut down, online education became our newest reality. Businesses and companies that sent their employees to work from home conducted meetings over Zoom. Even distance-torn friends and family took to Zoom for social distance acceptable hangouts. And even some wholesome birthday parties. In April, Zoom had over 300 million daily participants. It extended to legal proceedings, as a courthouse in Illinois, USA, held an oral argument for the first time over Zoom. 
in addition to traffic court holding meetings and law firms participating in virtual trials. Now, a software that's so integral and responsible for saving people from layoffs made how much off of COVID-19? Zoom's founder, Eric Yuan's net worth rose to a whopping $7.8 billion, and the company's value is roughly worth $42 billion. The first quarter of the fiscal year alone's revenue came in with $328.2 million. We want to thank you for watching our top 10 biggest companies who profit from COVID-19, and we hope you like our content. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for updates.